Hello artists and welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today's project is something you may want to consider making for the upcoming summer. You can find the list of materials in the description box below and if you're new to this channel, hello there. My name is Kat and I make crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram as well as my Facebook page at What About Yarn. And if you like this video, please feel free to hit like, comment down below and subscribe. To begin, make a slip knot and work up a chain that will go from the armpit and down towards the underbust. For my size, that will be a total of 42 chains. When you have your chain, we're going to work a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And to do that, we're going to yarn over, insert the hook in the third chain, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook and yarn over and pull through all of those three loops. Now repeat that same stitch into each chain. Now here at the end of my row, we're going to move on with row number two, starting with a chain of two. Now chain two here counts as one half double crochet and turn your work. And from here, we're going to work a half double crochet, but this time we're going to place our stitches in the back loop of each stitch. So yarn over and insert the hook in the back loop of the next stitch. And work up the stitch in the same way as you make your half double crochet. And that is a half double crochet back loop. Now continue making the same stitch into each stitch until you get to the end of the row. Here at the end of the row, we're going to work our last stitch, which is a half double crochet in the second chain of the turning chain two. And that ends row number two. Now from here, we're going to repeat row number two, working a half double crochet back loop into each stitch until you get to the end of the row. And you're going to repeat that until the length of your panel will completely wrap around your chest. Now for my size, that will be a total of 95 rows. Once you have your panel, we're going to connect both of the edges together using a slip stitch. I also have to apologize for the hands and the nails as I have been working heavily in the garden recently. So I hope you don't mind. So, so work a back loop a slip stitch into each stitch to close the edges. I just finished seaming up the sides and as you can see here, I'm going to place it on the side of my top. And I also made my sleeve here as well so that you don't have to see me do this. Now when you make your sleeve, you're going to attach the yarn into any of the row at the upper right corner of the top. But when you're making your second sleeve, you need to make sure that you're going to flip your work over. So as you can see here, my yarn is attached in this side of my work. So that means I'm going to attach the yarn in the back side at the opposite part of my top. Once the yarn is attached, we're going to work up a chain in multiples of four until the length of the chain will go all the way up to the shoulders and towards the back for the straps. For my size, that will be a total of 56 chains. Now once you have your chain, you're going to attach it at the back side of the top and don't forget to not twist the chain as well so that you can work your stitches for the next part without having any twists so attach the yarn at the back side and turn your work next make two single crochet into each row across Now make one single crochet into each chain. At 
the end of the round, we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet. Next, chain 3 and don't turn your work. Chain 3 here will count as 1 double crochet. And work 1 double crochet into each of the single crochet stitches only from the armhole so we don't include the straps. Now when you get to the end, we're going to continue working around the strap of the top. So from here, we will do a chain of two. This will be the start of the pattern for the mesh. Chain two and skip two single crochet. And then work two single crochet in the next two stitches. So let's repeat the pattern again, chain 2, skip 2, 2 single crochet. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way until you reach the end of this round. At the end, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Now moving on to round number 3, we will just repeat the same pattern that we did for round number 2. So chain 3, double crochet into each stitch until you reach the straps. When you reach the straps, we're going to repeat the pattern for the mesh, but this time we're going to do the opposite. Now what I mean with the opposite is instead of starting this mesh pattern with a chain of two, we will start with two double crochet and we will place that into the chain two space that we will see here at the previous round. So two double crochet into the chain two space. And then chain 2, skip the 2 double crochet stitches from the previous round, and then work 2 double crochet in the chain 2 spaces. So this will be the pattern that you will repeat all the way throughout the end of round number 3. At the end of the round, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3, and that marks the end of round number three. From here, we will repeat round number two and round number three until the length of the sleeve will go just completely at the tip of the shoulders. I just finished making my sleeve and I have about 11 rounds in total, including the first round of single crochet. I continue with the last round of our sleeve. We're going to chain one. Chain 1 here doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to work 1 single crochet into each chain and 1 single crochet into each stitch. So starting with our chain 2 spaces here, we're going to work 2 single crochet and 1 single crochet into each of those 2 single crochet stitches. Continue with this all the way until you reach the end of this round. Now fasten off and cut the yarn and repeat the pattern for this for your second sleeve. Now moving on to the lower part of our top, we're going to attach the yarn into any of the row at the bottom. And once the yarn is attached, we're going to chain 3. Chain 3 here counts as 1 double crochet. Now on the next row, we're going to do 3 double crochet. So that is 1 and 2 and 3. Now on the next row, work 1 double crochet and on the next row again, 3 double crochet. So this will be the pattern that you will repeat all the way throughout the end of this round. At the end of the round, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Now do not turn your work. We will continue with round number 2 
starting with a chain of three chain three here will count as one double crochet now if you look at this here we have these three double crochet stitches in the next row now what we're going to do is we're going to work an increase into the middle of those three double crochet stitches so that will be the second double crochet so starting with the first one here we're going to work one double crochet in the first double crochet stitch and then we're going to do an increase in the middle stitch so what i mean with an increase is we're going to do two stitches or two double crochet into that same stitch so that's our increase right there on the third stitch we will just do one double crochet so every time you will work in the middle stitch or the second stitch of the three double crochet stitches you're going to do an increase repeat this sequence all the way until you reach the end of the round now close the round with a slip stitch and do not turn your work continue with a chain of three chain three here will count as one double crochet now on the next stitch we will do one double crochet and if you can see here we have these increases now we're going to increase on each of those increasing stitch so starting with the first one here i'm going to place two double crochet and on the next one i'm going to place another two double crochet so again we're going to do an increase in each of those increasing stitches so for this round we're just going to do one double crochet in each stitch and make an increase in each of the increasing stitches repeat the sequence all the way throughout at the end we will close this round with a slip stitch and do not turn your work now chain three and we are now at round number four now chain three here will count as one double crochet and for this round we're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch so no increases for round number four at the end we will close this round with a slip stitch in the third chain now chain three and you will repeat round number four so no more increases for this round repeat this until you have a total of 12 rounds for the ruffles next we're going to attach the yarn into any of the row at the neckline of our top and once the yarn is attached we're going to work two single crochet into each of the row one single crochet into each of the stitch at the sleeves close this round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet now from here we're going to work our neckline so chain 16 make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet into each chain the end of the row we will skip one stitch and slip stitch twice again skip one stitch and slip stitch twice one and two from here we will turn our work and moving on to row two of the ribbing we're going to work a single crochet in each stitch but this time we will place our hook in the back loop of each stitch so single crochet back loop repeat until the end at the end of the row we're going to chain one now chain one here does not count as a stitch and turn your work now for this row work a single crochet back loop into each stitch and once you get to the end we will repeat the same pattern that we did here for the first row so skip one stitch and slip stitch twice now turn your work 
So this will be the sequence that you will repeat for the rest of the stitch. And for the last part of this tutorial, we're going to close this round with a slip stitch into each of those stitch at the ribbing, fasten off, and weave in all of the ends. If you like this tutorial, please leave us a thumbs up and comment down below. And don't forget to share this video to your friends. Thank you so much guys for watching and as always, have a good day. I'll see you on the next video.